So this short video is on two modes of awareness. So the first mode of awareness I'm going to talk about is what I would call the kind of awareness that lets what is happening emerge and come to you. So it's being open and receptive to what's here, allowing it to come in and reveal itself. So it has quite a sort of open, expansive quality to the awareness that takes in whatever is happening in a broad range of experience. So this is as applicable in ordinary everyday life as it is in meditation. So when you start a meditation session and you start with this mode of awareness, then you're just taking in and letting what is here emerge so that you see, you notice, you feel more and more. So that the basic kind of attitude of what's here and what else is here. And it's a very open kind of quality uh, that allows more and more to be seen. In ordinary everyday life, you could just be sitting uh, out, looking out at something, and you're just taking in what's there, letting things emerge into your awareness. So you take in more and more. And in this way, you get to see what's there, but you also feel your responses. Now this mode of awareness uh, is very useful in between things. So in between tasks, uh, in between things that you're particularly focused on. When you're perhaps just waiting for something, it's a good time to practice it. So you can just, you just wait. You just, and you just notice what's here, what's happening. You take in more and more. You let things uh, become apparent. So you can practice this mode of awareness quite consciously. You can decide to practice it in between doing things. So one of the things that this does is that it sort of breaks up any habit you have for always doing, just doing, doing, going to, focusing. Uh, it, it sort of opens up and expands your awareness of yourself and the context that you're in. The other kind of mode of awareness is more what I would call going to. So in terms of meditation, you go to the body. It's intentional, it's direct, it's focused. And in a certain way, it's a narrowing down of attention onto something specific. You can focus on the body, on the breath, on different aspects of the breath. And it's quite, in a way, task-oriented. It's doing, you're doing it, you're focusing. In terms of uh, communication, I think that this is, uh, this mode uh, can be very useful because you're focusing on the communication, on the topic, on the person. And in a way, it's quite a sort of narrow frame with using a photographic term, a sort of narrow depth of field. There isn't much, uh, horizon or scenery is just focused on what's happening very particularly. And it's very useful and very interesting in a meditation practice to experiment with going backwards and forwards from this broad letting things occur to you, letting things emerge, letting things come to you kind of awareness, broad awareness, to narrowing down to focus and then going back and really getting a feel for the difference. That being said, 
it then can become clear that actually they're not completely mutually exclusive. There's always a bit of one in the other. You need some focus and attentiveness to be in this broad awareness. And to be focused, it's good to have some level of uh, a broader sense of yourself to some degree.